Right now, what we're starting to see is a diversification in the way that businesses operate. They're using physical servers, but they're increasingly, you know, they're putting stuff into the cloud, and they're also making use of virtualization. And the driving force behind that is really efficiency and cost. And one of the problems there is that security is not necessarily top of mind when they're developing that because any business sees, sees the cost benefit before they tend to see the security implications. So actually the key story really for any organization is to realize that as they start to make use of virtualization, they need to also incorporate security into that. If you're looking at security in a virtual server environment, the first thing you have to figure out is if there are compliance controls that are required on some of the assets. So for example, if there's a data privacy requirements or a PCI credit card requirements, in that case, then you have to look at the audit and compliance controls required by the particular regimen and apply them. And they tend to focus on things like isolating the critical in-scope workloads from the rest of the environment, which is much simpler in a physical environment than in a virtual environment, and things like monitoring super user access, change management, patch management, these kinds of things. A lot of the problems don't change if you move to the virtual environment. It's implementing them in an operationally efficient manner that becomes different. One thing that's important is that no organization is going to go wholly virtual or wholly cloud or indeed stay wholly physical. We're going to see people at different points along that path and we will typically see a mixed operational environment. And that really means that it's important for any security offering to work in any of those situations, virtual, physical, and cloud. And it's important, I think, to recognize that security isn't just about making sure that things are safe, but it needs to be manageable as well. And that really means having a management system in place that can see any type of device, whether it's virtualized or physical. Security for virtualization is not a problem, so long as security is properly addressed in a virtual environment. Um, and what we've been encouraging our customers to look at is making sure that you have a real security strategy as you roll out your virtualization plan rather than making it an afterthought. People would virtualize, do their own thing, and they didn't really have to care. But now that applications are starting to get on their radar, T1 applications into the cloud, the security team shouldn't be afraid to reach out to the virtual infrastructure guys, and the virtual infrastructure guys need to listen to the security team and say, right, not we're going to deploy this application, and by the way, when you've deployed it already, the security team then put the brakes on and say, sorry, get involved right up front from the planning stage and say, okay, I understand you want to move to the cloud. Here's some policies and compliance things we need to hit. Let's work with you, find the right vendors that will allow us to deploy it, as the application owners want, but still have the compliance boundary around it. That's really not an option because malware is out there. It's, uh, it's ever present, it continues to grow astronomically, and a virtual machine is just as vulnerable as a physical machine to malicious software. The second option they can look at is running what we would call an agent-based uh, security solution or endpoint solution, which would be running a product like Kaspersky Endpoint Security. Uh, which most of our customers use today in their in their Windows environments, uh, and you have uh, 
antivirus, you have application control, firewall, a whole host of layers of security uh, that you can apply to each specific virtual machine in your environment. There's a lot of redundancies that are associated with running a agent-based uh, security solution on each individual virtual machine. Uh, but that is an option, and, and oftentimes early, in the early stages of virtualization, uh, many customers begin with adding a agent-based endpoint security offering to each virtual machine. The, the third option that customers can look at as they're on this journey uh, into virtualization is a solution such as Kaspersky Security for Virtualization. Uh, and here we're providing a single instance of Kaspersky on that hypervisor or on that cluster, and it's providing antivirus and heuristic security services to all of the virtual machines on that platform or cluster. It's much more efficient, much better use of your resources in your virtual environment, uh, and therefore it's going to help you drive up those consolidation rates and get a better use out of your virtualization investment uh, in both the hardware and the software that you've invested in. For me, the best level, it's the third level, fully integrated using VMware APIs. People like Kaspersky, we use it integrating with our endpoint API, so all of a sudden now they can have an agentless deployment, but still secure all my virtual machines on the platform, no matter where they sit. I actually think that over time we're going to find that security is going to be better in a virtual environment than in a physical environment. A lot of people think that security is worse in a virtual environment because there's additional software in the stack. But the part they miss is that the VMware virtual stack provides a lot of context to security products and solutions that isn't available in the physical environment. So information about new workloads being created, identifying where they are, if they move around, who's accessing them if there's sensitive data on them, the interactions between the various applications in the virtual data center. All of this information really isn't available to security solutions in the physical environment. And it's the context that drives higher quality security at lower operational costs. So over time, I think what we'll see is uh, a superior solution in the virtual environment where security controls are more tightly aligned with risk and they're more operationally realistic. And that's what's gonna drive a better overall security posture. Virtualization does introduce opportunities to improve security. Uh, you have the opportunity to, to standardize your systems and make sure that they're uh, constantly being updated and patched and you have that visibility because they're right there on your hypervisor or on your virtual cluster. What Kaspersky brings to the table is excellence with respect to technical capabilities to fight the latest threats and we see that requirement throughout our customer base. And so we need to make sure that our customers have the same or better sets of security choices in the virtual environment that they have in the physical environment. And ideally that the two companies work together to produce a solution that's not just equal to what they get in a physical environment, but actually superior. Right, we're built into the VMware vShield API, which means that when you go and establish a new virtual machine on that hypervisor, we immediately have visibility of it and are providing security anti-malware services to that machine. At Kaspersky, we want to give you the security that fits your business. Uh, and in some cases, what's appropriate for you, depending upon the size and the specifics of, of what you're doing in your, in your virtual environment, because the agent-based Kaspersky endpoint security may be completely appropriate for, for what you're trying to do. Um, but then again, a, a solution specifically for virtualization, such as Kaspersky Security for Virtualization, uh, may be just as appropriate uh, because you can apply uh, the same policy across all of your virtual machines and make sure that you're aware of anything that's coming up on that hypervisor and make sure that you're applying anti-malware um, 
across that entire environment. So it depends on your specific needs. Uh, Kaspersky has solutions uh, for, for both types of architectures. Uh, and we also offer a single management console. So you can be running uh, security on physical devices. You can be running Kaspersky agent-based endpoint security uh, on specific applications or specific uh, uh, systems on your virtual hypervisor. And you can also be running Kaspersky security for virtualization across the entire a virtual uh, platform for all of your virtual machines. So it's basically, once again, uh, you know, security to fit your specific business needs.